Listen, Brandon is getting his exercise in at this part of the show because he is at the board. Brandon, are you you gotta run like like Kenny does on Inside the NBA. Let me okay. see you. Let me see you do your little job. Go to the board. Okay, there's the board. There we go. There we go. There okay. we go. So this uh, is a segment. We're gonna go ahead and reveal your what are we what are we revealing to the people? Your top five rookies to watch, correct? Yeah, top five rookies to watch. I'm really excited about rookies, right? Like rookies back in the day, Ashley, Corey, when mm -hmm. I was in the league, um, they didn't play. You know, we didn't really respect rookies. We shaved their heads. They still shave their heads. Oh my God. We didn't pay twenty, thirty thousand dollars uh, for uh, our dinners and all that stuff. Now rookies are coming in, and you got to contribute right now. If not, you might be cut. You might be out of there. So all year we're going to track rookies. And we're going to look at the top performing rookies every single week leading up to mm -hmm. the rookie of the year. So I have uh, a list of five rookies that's standing out right now. Some of you guys will, you know, will say, well, that was predictable. And there might be one or two Ashley were like, where did that come from? This is me spending all my weekend, my entire weekend on South Beach interviewing yeah. almost 5,000, a little over 5,000 people on their thoughts as well. Monday. Uh, morning, I was even out there yeah. on South Beach. Yes, so it's not just me, but this is also fan votes. Is that where your tan came from? There you go. Yeah, that's my tan. Well, quick, quick, quick question before you get to your list. You talk about rookie dinners. Um, how much did you ever spend for when you was you were a rookie once upon a time? How much did they make you spend? <laughs> right Zero. Here. Right here. Oh. How's they that knew, possible? They knew not to try. Wait, look, six five two thirty. Oh. Oh. Dinner. Oh. Come on. Oh. No, 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 I was fourth round. I was fourth round. So Jay Cutler had to. Uh, he footed the bill. So Jay Cutler did everything. I was fourth round, I had no money. They usually do that to first rounders, <laughs> maybe second rounders. Okay. But once you get into the late rounds, they're like, man, keep your money. Yeah, Save right, by the right, round. Right. Keep your money. I ain't <laughs> making no money. Save by the round. Here we go. <laughs> so this first one, uh, this is a this is a, a gentleman who was drafted high, right? So high expectations on this guy. But when it comes to this segment, Brandon's top five rookies to watch that could potentially be the rookie of the year. This is one of those ones where I'm going to get a lot of pushback. But if you watch the game, you know the game starts from the inside out. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bill Parcells of the world always say, we start in the trenches. We got to be able to run the ball. Mm -hmm. We got to be able to stop the run. <laughs> we got to be able to block them up. Mm -hmm. It starts with the bigs. But why is there so much disrespect around the offense alignment and defense alignment, Corey and Ashley? Hold we on, never respect. talk about them when it comes to these big awards. MVP, it's the quarterback's award. When's the last time we seen, woo, fact check for me. When's the last time we seen the MVP come from the trenches? No, When's the last time we seen a rookie of the year be an offensive lineman? Mm. I don't know. Can you tell me? I don't know. But right now in camp today, this guy, Peter, help me with his last name. Uh, Peter woo. Skronowski. Peter what? <laughs> Skronowski. Big dude. Oh, big guy. Up his name <laughs> you can't get past him. He might be like the next Zach Martin, Ashley. Ooh. Zach Martin playing, what, nine years? Six of them is all pro years? Mm -hmm. This is dude could potentially be a Hall of Famer. He might be in the same situation in six years going to Rand and saying, Mr. General Manager. You know, Rand just got the job, the general manager job mm -hmm. down there, and they're doing a phenomenal job. And Tennessee is one of my black horses, my dark horses. I think Tennessee's going to have a phenomenal year. They're going to win the division. Ashley laughed at me when I said it. But it's going to start <laughs> with this guy. You know why? Because you got King Henry in the back. You got to be able to block him up. You got to be able to make sure you open up the hole big enough so this dude can do what he does and then step arm guys to the ground. But it starts with him. He's going to be sitting here six years from now saying, Rand, I outplayed my contract. I need another one. Okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm on Rand's side. I like what he's doing there. Number four, can we stay in the trenches? Can we please stay, in, stay, the in, the stay in the trenches? Okay? Corey, uh -huh. you talk about this guy. I do. You Go ahead. Who's number four? Oh, J yo, number four is Jalen Carter. This guy's a dog. This guy is a dog. I mean, he's already made it in his impression in the preseason already, he's just moving offensive linemen all over the place, right? So this is a guy, Thomas Davis just said it, Georgia Bulldog, they just come with a different mentality, right? Like, this dude is a monster. He's a monster. Listen, I cannot wait to see this but, dude on Sunday. Uh, listen, I'm making a point right here. Every time we talk about football, we always talk about the wide receivers. Yeah. The wide receivers are divas. <laughs> they get everything. Forget the wide receivers, man. Yeah. We got to start talking about the bigs, man. Without them, we are nothing. Mm -hmm. And nobody's going to vote for them. But I was on South Beach, right, uh, this whole weekend, like I said earlier. <laughs> and these dudes, out of the 5,000 people that voted, yeah. I think he had we got maybe... We got 225 for number 77. Uh -huh. and we then got I mean, 600 votes for Jalen Carter. Yeah, and yeah. then the third was who? The third was 
That's Zay Flowers. Flowers. That boy from Broward. Zay Flowers right here. Can we, can come with me, this beautiful. Look at that. We Look got, we got a thousand <laughs> votes for Zay Flowers, uh -huh, by the uh -huh. way. A thousand votes for Zay Flowers. And I think that uh, the chat and everybody watching, the people on the, on the, on the, on the, on the set, mm -hmm. Ashley, my partners and Corey, mm -hmm. I think you guys would say that you know, I'm not surprised. Absolutely not. I mean, nobody can cover this guy. Do we have any type of B-roll for, for, for them or not? If not, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But Zay Flowers, man, I really wanted to put him at one. Yeah, I know, I know this is tough. I, he can't, you can't guard him. Can't. You can't guard him. Look what he did in the uh, joint practices. Yep. He ran a route, we call that, um, it's a back end line, we call it a return. So he was literally, they were doing ribs and boom, he came off the ball planted his left foot in the ground, stuck it again. Dude ran out the screen. You couldn't even find a defender anymore. <laughs> Lamar Jackson Jackson's just sitting there saying, oh my goodness, I may throw for 5,000 yards this year. I got OBJ over here. Mm -hmm. I got DK in the, uh, 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 JK in the back. Yep. And then I got this rookie, Zay Flowers. Yep. How are you going to stop me? Mark so Andrews Zay can. Flowers is hit, sitting here at three for Brandon's top five uh, uh, rookie watch list. Number two. Ooh, a guy that shit. everybody's predicting to win rookie of the year, but he's at him, number two. Before you reveal him, he got over 1,300 votes, people. Mm -hmm. 1,300 votes. How many does Zay get again? A thousand. A thousand so yeah. it's close. It was close. 1,300 votes for this guy on South Beach this weekend. Bijan Robinson. Bijan Robinson is what Ashley would say is a what running back, Ashley? Dual threat. Dual threat. She loves to say hybrid. She, she, mm -hmm. hybrid. she understands yeah. the running back position. And this is a guy that really made his highlight so far in camp mm -hmm. in the past game. Yeah. I mean, he's running past guys that was clocked at a 4-3-40, linebackers like that, veteran guys who are all pro and pro bowlers. He's routing them up, running sluggos. He looks like a wide receiver. And number one, don't at me, <laughs> okay? Where is my camera? Don't at me. Don't do it, okay? I'm telling y'all right now, put some respect on this kid's name. Deuce Vaughn is number one. Woo! Deuce Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Ashley, don't believe me. Ashley, I'm telling you this <laughs> kid, Deuce you. Vaughn. Well, when I when I told you, Deuce Vaughn may be RB1 in Dallas. Really? And, and I like to, I, everybody loved Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard de de deserves his deal. Mm -hmm. But this dude is special. I, like, this is like Darren Sproles. I think they're, you know, Darren Sproles like a mentor to him. They kind of know, they mm -hmm. know each other. They work together. Mm -hmm. He trained at our Tampa location. We had him for combine training. I mean, I thought the dude was a wide receiver when I first went yeah. up there. Yeah. Super fast, you know, um, underrated, mm -hmm. you know, but now he's on everybody's radar. This dude is just nice. Like, his vision, what he was able to do in tight spaces in the hole in that first game. Uh, he's number one. Ashley, how many votes did he get? He got over 1,800, almost 1,900 votes. Listen, I'm going to quote one of my favorite movies. Listen, Deuce Vaughn, number one on Brandon's list. The Cowboys, number one in your heart. How about them Cowboys? Right, 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 right. How do we do in our first stand-up uh, segment? I thought it was cool. It was dude. good. I, I, I like the cool. I like the blow up. You know what? I actually like the blow up pictures versus just a name with like lists and their stats and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like you the like pictures. It. It's cool. Shout we out gotta to put Jazz. a face to the name. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Shout out to Jazz. Jazz. Um, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have Jazz make graphics of himself <laughs> and our team. So when we talk about our team, it's pow. It's JP's boom, right there. Pow. Nagin's right there. Pow. Manderville sitting there, but you can only see his teeth. <laughs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, he has to do the hoodie and then it's a hoodie. shadow. Yeah. You know what? He when, like the day. <laughs> when he did the hoodie yesterday, uh -huh. it reminds you. You ever see the meme with Kermit? Yes. And he has the it's the it's the dark Kermit, yeah. and it's like talking to regular Kermit. And he has the hoodie on, and bad Kermit's telling him to do things. That yeah. was Mandeville. That was, he was put in Kermit. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Listen, well, I haven't seen that. I want. I need to see that. Yeah. Uh, that that little meme. You know, when I first heard of meme, I used to call it Mimi. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, hey, okay. hey, all thing. year, all year, we're going to just continue this conversation, rookie watch list. You know, it's going to change. Uh, we're going to need participation from the local fans. Mm -hmm. You know, our fans, you got to put in your votes. I'm tired. I'm not going back down to South Beach and spending <laughs> my Friday afternoon, my mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday mornings interviewing mm -hmm. and asking people to vote. 5,000 people to vote. I'm not doing it. Right. So I need participation. A little too tedious. Would y'all change any of this before we move on? Let me see. I, I, you know, I wouldn't. 
Who's my favorite rookie, Ashley? You always say I like to say his name. No, right now, it, it's going to change, right? So, like, right now, the reason why I put it this way is because this is who's winning the votes right now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? But week one, or hell, maybe week three, week four of preseason, it changes. Yeah. So, I, I don't want to hear who your favorite is. I want to hear who is right now. Yeah, right now. Okay. Am I going first? Go no. ahead, say it. Jackson Smith and Jigba. You know you love his saying his name. Jackson Smith and Jigba. He's the he's the rookie wide receiver out of the Seattle right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, no disrespect. He no he disrespect. is gonna be he's gonna be a problem. And you know who's another running back? So let me go through five. Let me can I go can I just go through five? One hundred percent. I do like I do like this peak up here. You know Peter Skrnowski. I think he's gonna be a household name. Because, like you said, it starts in the trenches, right? He's going to be somebody who is going to represent his class, and represent offensive linemen for yep. a long time. But same with that guy next to him. Now, if it was, if I, if I had to choose another player, it's his teammate, Ricky Nolan Smith. Wow. Out of Georgia as well. That dude's going to be a problem. He is more of like an interior lineman. Nolan Smith is more of like that edge rusher. So he's the guy that's obviously going to be putting up probably the stats more than likely. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. So he's a, maybe this dude is like the next. Maybe Aaron Donald, right? Like, right? like a guy who can record those sacks from the inside. I mean, I think they're going to be a problem just, you know, throughout their whole line, throughout that whole front seven. But uh, Nolan Smith is, again, another guy who we should be on the lookout for. And now if I had to pick another receiver, it would be, you know, like I said, Jackson Smith and Jigba. I'm going to go with two receivers, though, because – I, I, I might have to. I agree with Zay Flowers. I got. Yeah. I got to go with the home team. Zay Flowers. He's just like a. a what, what do they call it? Lightning in a bottle. Yes. Right. Lightning like, in a yes. bottle. Lightning in a bottle, man. He can run every route. He's a playmaker. Yeah, he's a playmaker, and he's a guy, man. He plays a lot bigger than what he looks like. You know what I'm saying? And what and what he's on paper. He's a guy you could throw him just to mix things up. Throw him on the outside. Like I mean, you you as a receiver, you know, like we can just switch up the looks. He's a guy that you can put, in my opinion, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere on the field. So. Jackson, uh, I got I got Zay Flowers, but Jackson Smith, he's going to be at number two, though. Mm. He's going to be at number two because, and you know how it is in football, right? You got a guy, and this is this was the case for a guy like K.J. Osborne. We know a guy like K.J. Yeah. Osborne now because of Justin, the Justin Jeffersons of the world, because of, of the Adam mm -hmm. Thielens of the world. That's going to be the case in Seattle. You got who? DK, DK Metcalf. Tyler you got Lockett. Tyler Lockett. And people forget, they got Noah Fant, too. Noah Fant is like a, legit, a legitimate mm -hmm. tight end. He's a good tight end. You got all of those playmakers around a guy like Jackson Smith and Jigba. I'm telling you, like I, I've been, have, so not, have the, I not so been saying the, his name so you, for months? So you got the Seattle Seahawks uh, uh, representing the NFC out of the, in, the, in the Super Bowl. That's what you got? Not the Super Bowl, but I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty. No, I'm pretty sure I was the only one that had them in the playoffs, though, didn't I? Representing. Representing out of the NFC, I didn't because because I know they're in the division with no, the 49ers. No, I had the Seahawks on my you list. You did have the Seahawks. I did, yeah. Okay, because I know because I, I thought you had the Panthers. No, do we have those graphics? I have the Seahawks on my list. Or yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I gave. Okay. Remember, I gave wild cards also. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. I'll say that that might be list. cool. Maybe to bring up those playoff lists. But um, Jackson Smith and Jigba, he's there at number two. And who do I have at number one, man? I mean, I, I probably if I if I really could have thought through it, I probably would have had I probably would have had Jackson Smith maybe at number one. Yeah. But I'm gonna go with a quarterback, right? Like I think a guy like uh, I think a guy like Bryce Young is really gonna surprise some people. Mm. You know, I mean, this kind of supports your claim that the Panthers are obviously gonna be the team to uh, represent the NFC. Was it mm -hmm. the NFC South? But. <sighs> I, well, I, I didn't think, have them I representing. I had them going via wild card. Oh, it was via wild sure, card. Sure, you okay. can change though. Right. You can always change. Because who, who, who do you have? The Saints. <laughs> you you have the, the Saints, Saints coming, coming out. out of okay. The you okay. have you have you have six weeks. Yeah. Sure. To yeah. change at any moment. <laughs> sure. But now, like like Thomas Davis said when he was on, we they got some they got some pieces. They got Adam Thielen now. I just mentioned well, him a little earlier. They got DJ Chark. They got Miles Sanders. Yeah. So, we'll see. So I'm not going to go through all five, but my number one, obviously, is going to be Deuce Vaughn. Yeah. I do like Zay Flowers, but I also wanted to go ahead and throw my guy Quentin Johnson out of the Chargers, the one who I said yeah. reminds mm. me a lot of DeAndre Hopkins. I think he is really? going to have one hell of a rookie season. Okay. You, I already, when we were going ahead and dissecting these guys and their film from camp, I said, I love the way this guy plays. He's a rookie, but he plays like a vet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love his great game. Camp. Great team, great yep. organization, has a great quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just, I'm really excited now. You you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of their head coach. Yeah. So that's going to be the Brandon biggest. Brandon Staley is that's, him. That's yeah. going to be the biggest question mark, yeah. is if he can go ahead and make sure that he molds these guys and puts them in the position to go ahead and actually close out games mm -hmm. and win games. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Quentin Johnson is an absolute just, he's going to be fun to watch. And like I said, it's just so impressive 
that he is a young guy, 21 years old, mm -hmm. but watching him on the field, you would think he's been in the league for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. insane. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoy the show today. Enjoy the stand up. You know, I know, but mm -hmm. they enjoyed the the, the stand up uh, segment today. You know, I'm excited about adding new elements, some new furniture. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cool. It's going to be a fun ride. Absolutely. That's exactly what it's going to be. Absolutely.